Uh, next one. I'm going to take this roll of paper. Okay, I'm going to take that roll of paper and I'm going to. It didn't work very well. Uh oh, there it goes. So we're going to pull out the big guns. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Okay. What's the charge of the paper? Yes. Neutral. 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 What's the charge of this rock? No, negative. And if I bring it close. So. Turn it on this on the other side first. Yeah. Yeah, because the crease is messing it up. Oh, no, no, no. like upside down. Yeah, well, to to the side. Now, am I touching it? No. Are you? There it is. Oh. Uh. 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 Oh. 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 It's forces, man. It's forces. Uh, oh, well. He's like, yeah, I think you're ruining the air, which is blowing the <laughs> well, There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, Great job. You know what? You know what? That, that's it. It's an important thing to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to bring that up later on why it did that. But, can you do that with a regular wheel? Oh, what? Sure, sure. Let's do that as a yes. Okay. Diagram that. Well, most importantly, there's our paper, and we're going to go to that atom idea. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay? So, plus, minus, maybe next one I'll go minus, plus. Plus, minus. Sure. You know, it's. There's no preference to which way they are. Okay? So that's picture one. It's net neutral and unpolarized. Next picture I brought negative rod close. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven atoms. Okay. Now, you guys hit on the head already and said, okay, it's going to be polarized. Oh, I don't have a microphone. <laughs> oh, it's blue over. Blue over. Blue urns. Okay. So, it's going to be polarized, but really, are the atoms over here really going to be affected at all? Nah. They're far enough away that guess what? For the most part, they're just going to be the same old way that they always were. But the ones close to it, they're going to play the whoosh game. Or I guess it would actually be whoosh. The negatives are going to go a little bit farther away. Leaving positives behind. The front side of this is local positive. Yep, for the most part, they aren't affected. Right, so what happened? This picture, they were like this. For the most part, same number of negatives and positives on both sides. Then when I brought that negative rod close, all the negatives did is they went and shifted a little bit farther into the ring, leaving positives behind. So remember, the positives can't move. So I have negative positive and they attract.